Hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make a blackberry pie. A friend of mine was kind enough to pick a whole bunch of blackberries for me and I need to use them and this is uh, four cups of blackberries in here. I'm going to take a few more out. I've got some sitting over here. All right. I'm I'm going to add to that, let's see, I'm going to add um, a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of flour. That is it. I'm going to stir it up first in this bowl. I've already measured it out. Pour it over these blackberries. And just stir till I don't see any more white. This is a very, very easy recipe. You know, I look up a lot of recipes. Y'all know these aren't my recipes. They're just recipes that are good that other people have tried and and I'm giving it a whirl. Now when I have a recipe that's my own, I will tell you. So I'm not trying to fake anybody off here. We're just stirring up these blackberries. Ooh, that looks good. Now I prepared part of a pie shell. earlier and I'm going to take these blackberries and put it in there and in the bottom of the pie crust it's unbaked now it's an unbaked pie crust in the bottom you uh, wipe it with um, an egg wash so that it won't get soggy and when you look at this you'll see that I did that already I'm going to kind of sp spread it out a little bit. All right. Here it goes. This is a nine inch pie shell. And I made the crust using the easy flaky crust recipe that I have on my website if you want to look it up because I was not going to the store and buy a pie crust when I could make one here for a little bit of nothing. All right. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon over this. Can y'all see me? So pit here. I thought I got them all out. And you know lemon enhances the flavor of fruit and just about everything. Now I can't, I have a choice now. I can dot it with butter or not. I've chosen not to dot it with butter. Let me go get the other half of the pie shell and you can watch me struggle to get it on. You're going to preheat your oven to 425 degrees, but it's not going to stay there, so don't worry about it. Alrighty, let's see. I've never done a double pie before, so this is a first for me, and I can see already that it's not going to work out like I wanted it to. <laughs> it split, but we're going to fix that. So I'm telling you guys, if I can do this, you can too. 
All right, I'll get that out of the way. Get the pie crust that stuck to the wax paper off, which is actually under it. Got to get it out of there. There we go. All right, now you see that this is all split, but we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to fix this pie. And here we go. I'm going to save my little edges here because I may need them. But you're just going to pinch that. Whoops, a daisy. Maybe I'm going to patch it. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to just patch it. In any case, um, whoa, I have really made a mess. Okay, let me get the rest of that off. I'm just going to take the top crust and the bottom crust and get them folded together. Just like that. Simple as that. You don't want any of your uh, filling to ooze out the sides. So, we're going to take care of that right now. I think I what I did was get my top crust a little bit too thin. So, that's why it didn't behave nicely. But, you know, this is for my family. I'm, you know, I'm not serving the president or anybody that important. You're just going to do that. That's all you're going to do is just bring it up together and tuck it under. It's got a little bit too much on there. Can y'all see me? Yeah, you can. And over here it broke up badly. Whoops. See, it would have been easier to just do this with a fork, but I'm not. I'm going to take some of the